Hi. Uh, I only just got out of the bathtub and that's why my hair is still wet and everything. I lost track of time because I was like looking stuff up on my phone for my move and uh, so it got kind of late in the day and I really really need to <sighs> make some phone calls today which I hate. I don't like phone calls, they make me very nervous and especially in Japanese it's extra hard because I'm even after like eight years of living here I'm very self-conscious about still making mistakes and stuff when I speak but um, I figure if you're here for moral support then maybe I can just get it done real quick get it out of the way um, because if I don't do it soon, you know, um, my move update is getting closer and... Okay, okay, enough of the stalling. Let me just try and go ahead and move the call and whatever happens, happens, right? If I completely get confused and can't figure out what they're saying to me, then that's just how it is. But from experience, I know I will be fine. I just need to... Breathe and yes, I will be fine. Okay. I usually like to kind of practice what I'm going to say, say beforehand, but I honestly do not have time for that right now, so I'll just... God, there's kids screaming outside. That's fine, that's fine. I can do it, right? I can do it. Wait, oh, <laughs> this is the best news ever. I mean, sorry for the misdirection, but um, there was a, an automated message just now telling me I can do it online, which I was not aware of. I don't think that was uh, an option back the last time I did it, but um, or maybe I just didn't know about it. Anyway, they told me I can do it online. So that's one out of the way. Okay, I don't have to do the water and sewage one over the phone, but maybe... I wonder, maybe the electricity one will be fine as well. Maybe. You know what? Okay. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do instead of making a bunch of awkward phone calls in Japanese is I will see if I can get it all done online, which would be amazing. If not, we'll be back here. Probably in the morning because it's getting very close to 5 p.m. and I actually don't know how late these types of hotlines are open, but it would make sense that it's probably around 5, I mean maybe 6 at the latest. I don't know if I can do it today, but tomorrow morning at the latest, if necessary, then <laughs> I will um, invite you back for moral support like I did this time. And if not, maybe I don't have to make a video out of this and then we'll just do something else instead. Okay, so very quick follow-up. Um, I knew it was too good to be true. Well, partly. Um, so I went on the Tokyo Waterworks website and they are Fantastic. They actually have an English website where I was able to um, apply for 
contract termination and everything, so uh, that worked out wonderfully. But when I tried to do that for gas and electricity as well, I ran into some issues, and now I remember this is why it's difficult for someone living here as a foreigner to do this online. Oh, no. Oh. Oops, I set an alarm for myself because, okay, here's the thing. Wait, let me finish my sentence. Uh, it's, diff <laughs> it's difficult to do it online because, um, because I don't have a kanji name. And uh, these two, or actually I think one of them doesn't even have the option, but for Tokyo Gas I tried to do it um, online and you have to enter your, uh, they don't have an English version of the website, so I, I did it all in Japanese, but you have to enter your name in kanji and then the phonetic spelling in katakana or whatever, um, which I can't do because I don't have kanji name. Um, so it didn't go through, even though I had already filled everything out and then I clicked next and it was like, sorry, we can't do this in your case, please call. So uh, back to square one for these two, um, I need to not talk so much and I need to just actually do it because the reason I set an alarm is I, I need to leave in about, ideally in 10 minutes because I, I'm, I'm going out to um, run some other errands and meet up with a friend and stuff. So um, maybe that's good though because Sorry, let me just make sure this is recording. Okay, yes. Uh, no, it's good because um, it kind of takes, it redirects some of that anxiety about having to make phone calls into like, hey, I need to leave soon. I have a limited time to do this. So uh, I'm hoping that'll let me just do it uh, without thinking too much. Um, oh my gosh, I need to stop talking and just get it over with. Uh, okay. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Let's do um, this one first, I guess. Please do not judge my Japanese. From experience, I know it's fine. Like, I can communicate. They're gonna understand what I'm trying to say, even if I make mistakes, but I don't know, it's just a little bit embarrassing. There's an automated message. So now I have to press one. Okay. Ah, hi. I'm almost over. Uh, I'm going to leave, so I'm going to get a new job. Tokyo, Tokyo to. Hi. 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 I'm the person. Hi. Hi. I'm zero nine zero. Eh, to. Just wait. Eh, one two three. うん、一。はい。え、2月の23日まで。
じゃあ、元気に出てきませんっていうか、ああ、そういうことですか。ああ、じゃあ、そしたら、ああ。OK、じゃあ、はい、お,お友達。ビルの名前は漢字,漢字で、えーはい、あのだお台場の台。うん<笑>
not sure if this number will work because this is a prepaid phone and sometimes they don't allow those like free um, free hotline type numbers for some reason. Okay, let's see. Ah. Got it. Not available. Okay, so there's an alternative one. Nice. Luckily. Also, let me unlock my actual smartphone that I just smashed the screen yesterday. Uh, just in time, I guess. I don't know what that means, but like, it's funny timing because I'm about to leave anyway and I'll get um, my mom's old iPhone 10, I think, as a hand me down once I get there, so it's not that big a deal, but <laughs> it's just ridiculous that I went so long never hurting this old phone in any way and now oh, the screen's cracked the screen's cracked but um, can you tell that I'm stalling? I probably am stalling but uh, no, there's a reason I picked my phone up and that's because um, I'm gonna wanna put it in my calendar when I think for gas they can actually in fact they, I think they have to actually come here to shut it off so hopefully I'll be able to pay like cash for my final bill on the day so then I'll put it in here so I remember what time they'll arrive uh, let me restart the recording because it's gonna just shut off in the middle of filming again otherwise since it won't go any longer than like 10 minutes time okay how's this oh. I'm on the frame. Okay. Come on, I can do this. I did the electricity one just fine yesterday, so I'll be fine. Okay. I'll be able to communicate. Everything will go smoothly. It's probably one. I'm just listening to all of them just in case, but one said he got yourself. So it's telling me technically I could do it online, however, we already know that didn't work, so I'll press 2 to be connected. Yes. Okay, thank you. Ah, hi, I'm going to show you how to do it, I'm going to show you how to いえ、電気じゃなくてガスだけです。はい。え。はい、本人です。はい。はい、1 5 1 
東京都墨田区地域王室301はいはい Waiting music, it's very loud. あはいえー、と今あ070、えすみません、もう一度お願いしますあ、そうですかおお、あー、すみませんあ、間違えましたかなあ、はい、じゃあ、はい、あうん Oh, that's weird. You told me、uh, I'm with a different gas company. So, why did they give me a Tokyo gas slip with a, with a customer number on it when I moved in? Maybe it's because Tokyo gas manages the connections. Okay, well, that's weird. So,、uh, like when you get gas hooked up, I think regardless of the company. Oh man, maybe I knew that actually. Weird though. Okay, yeah, so I think、uh, regardless of what company you, is your provider, if you live in Tokyo, then Tokyo Gas still has to unlock the. Not unlock, but like start the gas for the. I don't know. Long story short, I called the wrong company, and maybe that's why the online thing didn't work. And if that's the case, maybe once I figure out what my actual company is. So, this one's tricky because I'm pretty sure it got、um, the payment scheme for that one was different. Like, usually I pay by conveni convenience store payment for my utilities, but this one, for some reason, Was set to card payment when I moved in, so I think it might be the gas company belonging to my apartment management company. You know what? I'm gonna go look through my.、Um、yeah, sorry for the confusion. Actually, let me, let me show you my room real quick, by the way. So, this is my new suitcase. I got rid of. Pretty much all of my furniture, like everything large, I gave away to my friends here. All my belongings are in these little stacks. <laughs> I really don't own much stuff, as you can see. I mean, oh, this is my current laptop let up,、uh, setup. It's restarting right now because of updates. And、uh, that's where you were sitting just now.、Uh, yeah, don't mind the mess. <laughs> the, right now, I, I just, uh, yeah, uh, I do have some more stuff in that closet over there, but. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. I've been sleeping on this air mattress. There's another bag with some stuff.、Um, yeah, I've been sleeping on this nice air bed. That's very 
tall and uh, it uh, inflates like automatically with like this button. There. It's very nice. Um, I got it many years ago and I'm very glad I have it because this is what I'm sleeping on for the rest of my time here. Uh, so yeah, just in case you were interested, um, the moving out process is moving along nicely. Um, there, I'll put you there. Um, yes, so now all I have to do is wrap up some loose ends, sort through the things that I do have, see if I can get rid of any more stuff so I can pare down my belongings really just to the things that bring me joy and that I want to take with me into my new life. Because those are the two things you should consider when decluttering, right? It's like, does it bring me joy? Or is it something that will help me in my life, in the type of life that I want to lead, right? So that's what I'll be doing next. I was considering filming part of that process too, but I guess looking through things you own will bring up memories, obviously, and emotions and nothing wrong with showing that that's not really the point like I don't mind sharing my emotions with you obviously but it's more that uh, I think it'll take me a long time so there's gonna be way too much footage that I probably wouldn't have time to look through and upload and everything so um, probably won't do that even though it might have been a nice video idea, like, hey, let's de declutter our belongings together, right? But I'm sure it won't be the last time that I do that, though, so... No worries on that front. Uh, yeah, but also, like, I have a ton of, like, papers, like, um, a bunch of the stacks you just saw is just, like, old paperwork and, like, documents and stuff, which I might, like, get stuck, like, reading things to make sure I don't still need it, and it's just not... Not super interesting, I think, and, uh, yeah, anyway, that's just a quick update in case you were interested, and if you're not, you probably shut off the video a long time ago, <laughs> and that's fine too, but for everybody who is still here watching, thank you for taking an interest in me and my life, and for coming along with me on this exciting but also melancholy process of, you know, slowly preparing to leave and making sure that I get all the closure I need by doing things slowly and mindfully. I'll probably upload one more video before I t actually leave the country and then we can do more things together in Europe once I get there. I'm very excited for that too. Alright, uh, it is uh, roughly, well, almost an hour later. I'm now sitting here on my yoga ball <laughs> uh, at my laptop because I was trying to do it online, which um, actually the online process for this was extremely easy because it, as I figured out, and remembered, now that I think about it, you know, um, this does go through my um, rental apartment management company. So this whole gas thing is part of the, they, they have like an app slash a website for people contracted with them where you can do all sorts of stuff. It's actually really cool. I love it. I, I wish that everything had um, a really easy, like user-friendly sort of website member area like this kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's wonderful. It was just like in, in that menu, like when you log in, then there's like a menu with different things you can do. And for like miscellaneous uh, procedures or whatever. Uh, if you hit that, then the gas is one of them. And actually, that's where all my statements are. <laughs> all my like uh, bills. And also, it shows me a graph 
it's really cool. It shows me a really nice graph of my usage over the past year and farther back if I want to check. So it'll show me like how much gas I used each month and how much I paid for that. And it's actually really cool. Uh, it's kind of sad I'm finding out now that I'm leaving. Anyway, sorry for all the chatting. The point I was trying to get to is canceling the gas, super easy. It, it was literally a matter of putting in the date, clicking next, and confirming. And it went through. And then I got a confirmation email saying, okay, you will be, we will cancel your contract on this date. Nobody needs to come to your place. Like, it will be done without you be like without you needing to be there or us needing to come which would be great under normal circumstances the problem is as i think i, I mentioned before i can't rely on them mm, just uh, booking it like the the final bill they can't take it from my card that i use regularly because i will be canceling that card obviously to leave the country and move home so that's an issue so I was wondering if they could, upon request, come here so I can pay them in cash. Because if not, not really sure what to do in that case. So I still do need to call to find out. Maybe I could try to message them through the members page thing. Since it's all kind of the same, but I mean, it's a different branch of the same company, so I'm not sure if that would work. Like, probably what I'm thinking is if I try messaging them and then explaining the situation, they would probably message me back being like, oh, okay, in this case, you need to call and figure it out. It's quite likely that that's going to happen. So if that's the case anyway, I may as well just do it now. Get it over with, get things sorted, find out what I need to do. I am normally the type of person who will go to any lengths to avoid a phone call if I can. However, in this case, just gotta trust in the abilities that I've already displayed. displayed so far. Plenty of stuff has already gone wrong, by which I mean not according to plan, and that was fine. You know, we got through it. It wasn't a big issue. It was a little confusing. Sometimes a little frustrating, but overall, not a problem. And it does say they are also open on weekends, so. Okay, hang on, let me just try to think about how I'm gonna explain the situation. I don't know, I'll just have to barrel through. <laughs> Usually when I try to figure out what to say beforehand, once I'm actually in... This is why I hate phone calls so much. I feel like it happens more on the phone than in person, but when I like plan, plan out exactly what I'm going to say, and then I go to say it, it comes out all jumbled. I forgot half the words. So maybe instead of trying to get the wording just right... Oh, or I could write it down. That sometimes helps if I write it out first. I could do that. I could write it out so that I don't forget any of the important points I need to hit. Okay, let me try doing that. Because for this one, it's kind of tricky since it's a different situation from the other ones that were like pretty straightforward. Okay, I'll just go into my notes app, make a new note. 
try to write out what I'm trying to say. Okay. Oh, hey. 4.30, huh? It's the 4.30 melody with that play. I don't know if you can hear it. Since the camera's right by the window, maybe you can hear it. Yeah. I've heard uh, various theories for why it even exists. Um, some people say it's to signal to kids playing outside or like coming home from school or whatever that it's time to go home for dinner because it's gonna get dark soon. Let me stop the recording for now. Okay. Battery's gonna die any minute and I need to get this done before the day is over. Heating is unusually loud right now, or maybe that's just me being nervous, but uh, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, the number is still in here. I've finished writing out what I'm going to say. It's going to sound very red off of a script, but that is fine as long as they understand what I'm saying. It might not be 100% correct, but it's got all the information that I'm hoping to convey. <sighs> yeah, this could shut off any second, but let's try to do it before that happens. Uh, let me scroll up so that I have the contract number on screen. <sighs> I'll probably ask about that. Okay. What? Okay, no, that one doesn't work. Well, there is uh, one more thing that I can do if this doesn't work. But, man, I'm just covering all the bases of not, of phone failures, you know? Just going through every single thing that can go wrong with phone calls, all in one video. But, okay, here's one more thing that we can do. I prefer to use this because it has a lot of um, money left on, on it because the prepaid plan that I have for that one works in such a way that it carries over to the next month as long as you buy a new prepaid card. So actually you buy a prepaid card for every two months and if you buy a new one before the first one expires to like lengthen your the um, length of service, whatever, then it carries over. Only if you wait until it expires and then you buy a new one then your money's gone but i've been really good about always remembering to go buy a new prepaid card pre prepaid number whatever at the con convenience store in time so there's tons of money left on that that i will never be able to use up before i leave so i would have preferred to do it on there however i can also do it 
on this one I did get very recently because I was reluctant to do that for a very long time but recently I did get a plan for my smartphone that also includes calls um, and for that I'll have to pay extra but that's fine. Pretty sure from this one to work. And the nice thing about doing it on here is I can do speakerphone, which for some reason makes me less anxious. I recently found out than having to like hold the phone to your ear. And I need desperately to hear what's happening. Um, let me restart the recording over here. Okay, it's gotten dark. Battery's fully charged. Let's get this last piece done. Wait, did I close it? Oh, I think it's go here again. Go here again. Okay, and here's the number, and here's the phone number and contract number. Okay, I got to Oh, yeah, I'm using this one. So, in this case, it's a little. Maybe I can, you know what, let me message this to myself so that I don't have to look at the screen while also talking because that's, like, uh, it's better if I look at the other screen while using this phone so that I don't have to, like, switch back and forth between apps. So, pro tip, I mean, obviously you can also just, like, email stuff to yourself or whatever, but if I need to, like, quickly transfer information, pictures or, um, text or whatever between my devices I just message myself on Facebook Messenger <laughs> you can do that you can just message yourself and then it'll show up when you look at the web version okay hack life hacks there we go message from myself Okay, now I can see it on screen. In fact, I can now copy and paste it into Google Translate because then I also have the Romaji transcription in like English letters in case I forget how to read one of the kanji I wrote. <laughs> uh, yes, okay. Oh my gosh, it's already like 6.20, so they're open till 7, it said, so I really do need to get this done ASAP. To hassle! I don't know why they won't just let me like change my payment info, but I, I already checked and it's... I couldn't find, I couldn't figure out how to change my payment info to an international credit card or something, because that would make it easy, but... Where did it go? Hello? Oh, here. Okay. Let me move this tab over. I don't need this one. Let's go here. Okay. Phone number... We've already established, I uh, do need to do it in this phone. Oh. 
Maybe I should restart the recording just so it doesn't cut out in the middle of the phone call. Uh, what a day. What a series of days of trying to figure all this stuff out. Okay, I can do speakerphone so I can just set down my phone. Right. I need to figure out which あの、ガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスのガスの
中部です。ゼロ五七ゼロはい。ゼロ三。六五一二。六五一二。はい、そうです。オッケー。じゃあ、うん。それが、えーうん、大東健太君ですかはい、そうです。あ,あじゃあ,あ、そうしたらアプリでもできますか、はい、あ,あの、イーシアガスのああアプリから、そのもう、あのガスを止めるという手続きはいただいておわっているんですけれども、うん、はい、あの、最後の料金の件で、うん、はい、あの、家賃などの、はい、じゃあ、わかりました。うん。あ、わかりました。はい、じゃあ、うん。すみません。はい、失礼します。可能ではないですか。あの立ち会いして、あ、はい、それで現金で払うことはできますか。そうですね。そのあたりもあの私ともインヒアガスでは、うん、対応ができないことですので、ああ。でも先ほどの大東建築の管理会社に合わせて確認をしていただきたいと思います。ああ、わかりました。オッケー。はい。じゃあ、はい。すみません。あの、はい。はい混乱してすみませんでした。よろしくお願いします。はい、失礼します。はい、失礼します。Okay, one more issue. She told me they can't. She told me they can't take care of that because it's.、Um, I think, I mean, I didn't understand 100% everything she was saying, but I think because my,、uh, my gas bill is paid directly through my rental apartment, apartment rental company, apartment, I don't know, I don't know how to translate that. Anyway, the people that rent this apartment to me, that, that company, right? It goes through them. Meaning, I have to figure it out with them. And I specifically asked, would it be possible for somebody to come so I can pay cash? And they said, no, because it's not there、uh, within their power, I guess. To, I don't know. So she gave me a different phone number that I typed up that I'm supposed to call. But I'm thinking, and this is what I was trying to ask her, but I think she misunderstood because she thought I was talking about their app, but I'm talking about the Daito Kentaku app, and maybe she doesn't know about that. But there is on this、uh, member website I talked about earlier, there's the, the option to just、uh, send a message to them, kind of like a contact form type of thing, where you input your inquiry and then they will res、uh, respond. And I al already earlier, while this was charging and everything, I went through the FAQs a little bit about changing payment information, but that one was for rent, so I didn't think it applied. But since I am paying it at the same time as my rent to my apartment rental company, then that means I'm just gonna send a message. Hopefully, that'll work. And if not, Then I'll have to make yet another phone call to this other place. So I'll, I'll keep the phone number for now. But I think、uh, from here on out, maybe I'll be able to figure things out online, which is a big relief. But oh my gosh, what a, what a journey, right? Thanks once again for going on the journey with me. Your turn. You can do it too.
that thing that you hate as much as I hate making phone calls, or maybe it is making phone calls, because I can't possibly be the, blah, 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 be the only person who gets freaked out by them. It's only official phone calls, by the way. Like, I don't mind talking to friends or family, obviously. Well, maybe it's not obvious. I think some people hate phone calls in general. For me, it's just when I need to talk to people in like an official type of capacity and there are things that could be misunderstood or go wrong. Uh, anyway, there's one more thing I wanted to say, which is um, I wrote out all the things I wanted to say and yet, well, first of all, it sounded terrible when I tried to just read it off my screen. Secondly, I wasn't able to stick to what I wrote at all. Like, I think it worked for like the first sentence, but even there I, I ended up like shortening some stuff because written language and spoken language aren't the same. And this is true for every language. And that's why things ended up being awkward anyway, despite all my preparation. But you know what? That's okay. We got there in the end, and even though maybe I didn't express myself in the most eloquent of ways, that lady understood what I wanted, she told me what to do next. I'll do it a bit differently from what she told me, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, go do your thing. I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs>